Hey Trendsetters, Fat Cruiser here, your friendly Illawarra motor vlogger. How are we going today guys? Today I'm just going to, I want to talk about a bit of a controversial subject, particularly here in Australia at the moment, and that's the uh, legalisation of same-sex marriages. Now I'm going to preamble this by saying I'm not gay, obviously. I, you've seen it in quite a few of my videos. I like to have myself a good perv. Oh yeah. On the opposite sex that is. I have had friends in the past and also family who are gay. So I just want to get that out there before I start this. Now, the Australian government, the Australian Liberal government, which in this country doesn't really mean the same thing as it does in other nations like the US where the Liberals are actually the, the left. The Liberal Party is what I'm referring to. Is actually the right side of politics. And what they want to do they want to put a vote out to the Australian people. They want to ask the Australian people something along the lines of, uh, do you agree with legalising same-sex marriages? And the way they want Australia to vote on that is via a plebiscite. For those of you that don't know what a plebiscite is, it's actually a non-binding vote, which means whatever the decision is, well, whatever the outcome of the vote is, the government is under no requirement to legally uphold the result. So whether or not Australia votes yes, we do want to allow same-sex marriages, or whether they vote no, the Australian government does not need to take that vote on board and actually make it happen. And normally, I'd say, whatever, who gives a shit? But this is where it gets a bit tricky for me. Now this plebiscite, this non-binding vote, this whole big potential, potential waste of time could cost the Australian taxpayer 160 million dollars. <laughs> yes folks, 160 million dollars to set up a vote that the Australian public are required to vote on which is non-binding and may not even count towards anything. Does that seem like a good use of taxpayer money to you? Certainly doesn't to me. And the other thing is, $30 million, yes, $30 million, more money than I can even think of, right? will be given to both sides of the campaign to push their message forward in order to persuade the Australian public to vote one way or the other. $30 million for a religious organisation, for example, to tell me something that may not necessarily be based on empirical evidence or fact. I don't know if I want my tax dollars being spent on that sort of thing. What this does is it allows certain groups to promote hate speech, to further divide the population. That's not what we need in this world. It's certainly not what we need in this world. If anything, as a people, as a species, we're already divided enough as it is. Why do we need to spend our hard-earned tax dollars to help someone to promote more divisiveness? I just don't understand. You know, and then you've got some people saying, you know, let's let's just take it to a referendum. Now, a referendum is a vote by the public, as, it, as what happened in Ireland. They voted for same-sex marriage as well, but it wasn't a plebiscite, it was what's called a referendum. Now, a referendum is a vote by the public, but the result is binding. So... Whatever the public vote is whatever the government has to legislate. If you ask me, I don't want to spend my tax dollars on a referendum either. It's pretty much now the norm that gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, whoever, it's pretty much accepted that allowing them to get married is pretty much a, an okay thing. I may get crucified for you know, saying things like this, but it's, it's, it's really, you know, moving with the times. Let's move with the times. Let's just make it happen. Who gives a shit if a guy likes dick or if a girl likes to rub the carpet? I don't. I don't give a fuck. So let's let it happen. Why do I have to waste my money that could be funneled into things like public education, that could be funneled into things like public transport, providing better infrastructure for people rather than whether or not something that the majority of people want and it's not binding in the, in, in the last instance. It's like, go and get fucked. 
The other thing too, you know, apart from that $30 million, $15 million for yes, $15 million for no, during the campaign, if this goes ahead, third party organisations who don't get that government funding, who aren't receiving part of that $15 million on either side, can tout whatever the hell they want during that campaign. Now just say I'm some cashed up Catholic organisation or some fundamental religious organisation totally 100% opposed to same sex marriage I can say whatever I want you know I can say that you're going to hell I can say that you know your soul will be burning in internal damnation and hellfire if you vote yes for this now I'm sorry if I'm going to be given some information I don't want it to be like religion I want it to be based on empirical evidence and fact and truth. And I'm, I'm going to get crucified for this as well. Ah, pardon the pun, crucified. I'm going to get bashed for this as well. But there's not a religion on the planet whose story is based on empirical evidence, fact and truth. Not one. Not the Christians. Not the Muslims. Not even the Buddhists. And I don't want organisations like that spending my tax dollars or even just appearing on my TV screen or in my Facebook news feed or, or wherever. I don't want to hear that shit, man. If it was up to me, we'd just fucking legalise it. We'd just get it over and done with. Not spend tax tax money, not spend $160 million of you know people's hard-earned money on a bullshit question that isn't even binding. Yes, I'm all for same-sex marriage. I am. Where it gets weird for me is where you've got some people, there you go mate, where you've got some people who identify as some sort of fucking in-between thing or I'm not of any gender, I'm this or I'm that. Look, it, if it's between two human beings, whatever kind of gender or whatever transgender or half gender or fucking weird ass thing you identify as, as long as you're technically a human being, a humanoid entity, I really couldn't give a shit if you get married. And I would consider you legally married under the law. What I don't agree with is people getting married to their animals or you know, some stupid shit like that. It's got to be between humans. Marriage has to be legalised between humans or humanoid entities. You know, we get an alien race you know, that shares similar features of our DNA and our, you know, humanoid experience. You know what? Let a human get married to an alien. I don't give a shit. As long as they closely resemble us, I don't care. So guys, I'm interested to see what you guys might think about this. Do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? What do you reckon? Is it just the way it is? I mean, I think even the United States has, has already legalized federally, on a federal level, have already legalized same-sex marriage. Why waste taxpayers' money on a non-binding vote when it may not even happen? So feel free to crucify me in the comments. Feel free to agree. Tell me what you reckon. So guys, that'll be all from me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hell, give it a thumbs down if you need to. Comment, share it around social media, and make sure you subscribe for more content. So that's Fat Cruiser. I'll catch you on the flip side.